Live, baby. Hold on a second. What could be our song of the day today, Jeff? I don't know. Are we actually live? We are actually live. Oh. Well, for anybody watching, welcome back. We've been on a extended hiatus, I guess. Some of us have been... Uh, yeah, for a long time. Here and there. Yeah, it's been over a week, I think, since our last broadcast. So, we'll play this song. Is this it? Well, my partner, Hushim, figures out what he yeah. wants to hear. You ever heard this one? Yeah. It, it's uh, the theme song for my nightmares. <laughs> is that what it is? I don't know. I, mean, I, I nice hear it song. in elevators, in malls. Let's get to the point. Oh, Why? because it, it's hit such mainstream that you can play this now as, you know, elevators. not new. It's older oh, than you. Oh, this is really old, yeah, but I still like to listen to it. Okay. This Whatever floats called, your boat. It's, what happened? This is called Yacht Rock, right? Is that what they called it? I don't know. I don't think like this they, genre or whatever. I don't know. You see it on late night TV, the execution. You remind me of uh, Sasha Bear Cohen in the in the Dictator movie. <laughs> Whenever like someone pisses him off, he's like, "Yeah, everything's gonna be okay. Don't yeah. worry. Mm. Give him one of these." Yeah, give him one. <laughs> Honestly, here's my question: The FBI arrested him, not military intel people. Are, is he gonna be prosecuted in a civilian justice court or in a military justice court? There's a big, big difference. And if this gets shift over to DOJ for some reason, I smell a friggin' rat. This is a military incident. He's guilty, you know, f apparently from what they said, um, that he's done whatever. So why were there no MPs that arrested him? Why is it the, are, are they allowed to make arrests in the United States? Yes. So why why was the FBI? It's a good question. Maybe they asked the FBI to do it. That's fine. I know the military can't operate really within the United States. Not in a war footing, but against individuals breaking the military code of justice. Absolutely. Huh. Okay. So, I mean, don't you ever watch uh, NCIC? Don't you watch any of these shows? I don't watch TV, Jeff. Okay. All right? Strictly business. That might be part of the problem. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Let's no, try to I, cure I, I that. See that. But uh, my point is just simply this. If he's guilty which apparently he admitted to it, whatever, then he should be tried certainly by court-martial and, and suffer the consequences. It wasn't that long ago that we were executing people for this stuff. Now they'll probably trade him for a basketball player who's in Russian custody. Okay, I don't know. But anyway, I'm done with my rant. All right, that was Jeff's rant. Let's talk uh, Thank you for your rant. webinar. Let's talk webinar. Let's do a quick or webinar. Or you want to update. talk product. Uh, I actually just because I already have it up, let me pull it yeah. up for everyone over here to view. Give me one second. Here. All right, so this I thought was interesting. Uh, this is just cool news. Um, the Peltor came out. I mean, I, they had to come out with a new headset eventually. So this is it. I think it's been two years or three years since they came out with a new with the six? headset. Yeah. So this is the Peltor Compact Seven. Um, mm -hmm. One of the main features that this will have is, uh, amongst other just general designs, you know, the sound quality is better. The mic works, you know, better in high wind or stuff like that. You know, they always make it a little bit better on the dust. So, uh, the dust will rain protection stuff like that is going to be more or less the same. What's really cool is that it's completely wireless capable. So you connect to your radio a, um, a like, th thimble? What are those called? The Okay. A dongle? Yeah, a, and, okay. And the dongle will connect directly to your Peltor headset. Uh, I'm not sure exactly the logistics of how to work, but that's the gist of it. Yeah, because, I mean, encrypted or not, I mean, that's interesting. So if I have it pulled up over here. That it's, it's, it's a type of technology I wasn't f I, I've never heard of this before. The nib I've heard of. Near field new, near, enabled. Yeah, yeah. NMFI. So NFMI. So this is, I mean, I'm familiar with things like, you know, Bluetooth, obviously. Is, I, one of the challenges with uh, wireless is reliability and dependability mm -hmm. communication is key. quality of sound yeah communication is always going to be key in uh combat and to see them go wireless is going to be very interesting you know people die if they can't talk to each other um, when you're doing entries in houses uh, when you're trying to understand to get you know situational awareness on a battlefield you need to be able to talk to your teammates um, so these Peltor headsets and, and similar brands, you know, Gentex makes really good stuff. You have Silinx and Vizio, uh, j j just to name a few other, you know, type of communication headsets. There's Auto as well. Um, once you have that kind of capability, it's hard to go back. You know, it's hard to. But well, also, you, I'm terrified and 
I, I'm sure that Peltor did crazy amounts of research, but I think it's going to be a little bit of a leap of faith at the end of the day of like, will this work or not? Because the security of hardwired systems are that they're not supposed to be breachable or, Im, you know, impregnable, whatever. Yeah. So, sorry for the big words sure, sure. that I'm making up. W- word of the day. Yeah. Here, I mean, obviously you're broadcasting, even if it's near field where your dongle is very close to um, your headset unit. I'm just curious because yeah. what little gizmo bug genius is going to break the code for it? I, so. bu- I like believe in 3M enough that I think that it's I have a highly reliable. I don't think this is something that they would just put on the market. I think that this technology has been out that I don't really know NFMI technology that well. In particular, I'm just not familiar with it. But I, knowing 3M and the way they release product, and I'm not going to get into you know N95s and all that stuff. Well, they're very fast, but yeah. at least with the Peltor line, they, from my experience, they'll heavily test the product before they release it. So I think that the reliability should be rock solid on yeah. it. But until you use it and see it, you know, you, you don't really know. And my gut feeling is because technology is going towards this code jumping kind of thing. I have a feeling that they have it encrypted somehow. So yeah, neat. And you can tell. Look at the the. The, and it's a little different. Well, the microphones the really look different. You know, your side phones, the microphone, that unit looks different, but also your Foamies over here. built in, yeah, completely different setup. These buttons are the very The buttons different, are different. Yeah. The battery cover is different because it looks like it's the entire cap now. Or maybe they're oh, yeah, rechargeable. They wrote that it's, it's a new type of battery cover or something like that. Good, Highlights. because the old one used could use improvement. Um, they did something with the battery. Let's see, control the battery. Fox 50. Yeah, so I think that's like the same as last time here. New battery compartment. Redesigned water type battery compartment. Nice. That does not require a tool to change the batteries. Pretty cool. Nice. They didn't require tools before. It's that That's not new. No, but to me, I have a set of fours, I think. And it's just so easy to pull out you don't the battery have you, have, you have threes, probably. I have threes? Yeah, I got them from fours you. Were, I got them from you. So you so. have four, threes. Because okay. fours were like around the ear, but there was no cup. It was like an oh, in-ear. Oh, no, no. That was for like SEAL teams that, that needed to do like water, you know, something threes. with water or something like that. Yeah. Um, they know, look fours neat. Fours are different. Yep. The wire situation on the top, that's kind of interesting, and I'm wondering if that's now an antenna, the way it's woven like that, or... I think that's just to get rid of inches in a, in a small amount of space. Maybe. Because most people take these off anyways. Uh, and put oh, arc on rail the helmet, adapters. helmet mount, yeah. Yeah, they'll put arc rail adapters there, um, and uh, they they take those off anyways. But uh, it says it's designed to be better used under a helmet instead of over. But I, I think that's kind of foolish because at this point, everyone uses rails. Yeah, especially it look, it you know any thin, specialty yeah. team, any SWAT team. You're dumping the headband. They're dumping the headband anyways. Yeah. So I, but they say it's supposed to be a better headband uh, as well. So. You really don't like it? Oh man. I get, you know, maybe there's a time and a place for everything. I like this song. <laughs>